Hey guys, it's me, and welcome back. Right, I attempted to stream again last night, um, and it seems uh, normal service is resumed. Uh, as soon as I stream, everything goes wrong. Anyway, so this was the first game of the night. I joined the platoon, and the boys were playing tier 10. So I jumped straight in my Death Star, and forgot to press the broadcast button. Also forgot to press the record button at the start of the game. Uh, so we're just going to catch the end of it here. Anyway, right, so I'm out in the Death Star tonight. Um, as you can see, oh, I don't know if I've shown this tank before. I have started to use a premium consumable on this tank. It's the only tank I do it at the minute. Um, I've never felt the real need or the benefit for any of the other tanks so far. But this is one of the few tanks I have. Um, the team put in gives you 10%, so that's 10% on your reload. But more importantly with this tank, 10% on your aim time. Um, with this tank I've found there's been so many opportunities where I have could have fired, but I've not been aimed in enough. Um, or opportunities where I've been waiting for my aiming circle and the tank that I'm trying to shoot at has nailed me hard. So the tea and pudding helps with that as well. And it really, really has made a difference to my Death Star play. Apart from what happens um, with this shot. Uh, yeah. RNG was really, really not on our whole team side last night. It was absolutely crazy. I don't normally moan about RNG. Uh, but last night it was ridiculous. And the game I'm going to show you after this just made me so frustrated. I was literally screaming down the microphone. Um, so no wonder I didn't have many viewers last night. Yeah, so whether I'm going to keep streaming or attempting to stream, I really don't know. YouTube's my thing. I like making the videos. Uh, but Twitch? It's kind of frustrating, actually. Especially when you're having a bad patch as well. I mean, everyone has bad patches, but mine normally happen on stream. So, yeah, not good at all. Right, so Lightning pushes in in his Leopard. It gives me the opportunity to come round, eye up a nice shot on the back of that E100's turret and somebody's capped out so it's a shame that because this game could have gone on a little bit longer and this could have been a really 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 big game right so you didn't catch the start of that game unfortunately uh, but I pick up seven and a half thousand damage not bad for the first game of the evening so let's have a quick look at the detailed results There we go, top of the team on experience and top of the team on damage by a very, very long way. As you can see as well, there was four enemies left and we capped out. Um, there was some nice juicy damage to be done there. So this could have been an 8-9k game if it had carried on. And possibly a little bit better aim as well. Some of those shots where I only did splash. This could have been a really, really big game. And it was just such a shame that I never remembered to press the record button at the start. Right, anyway, next game. Um, started off really well again, but RNG really did show its face this time. Uh, Death Star, the accuracy is pretty poor, but I've never had it let me down as bad as it does. I don't know if it was all the tank's fault, some of it may have been my fault. Right, so this is the ideal map for the Death Star when you've got a nice narrow channel with two teams facing off against each other you can just put this gun to work shame there as well I forgot to change to Hesh so that M103 got away with some health which he probably wouldn't have done if I had a Hesh shell loaded there anyway it was about 1200 damage with my first shot loading up again what do we spy this time I think that's an IS-8 or something. Yeah. Bye bye IS-8. So we're up to about 2,500 damage with two shots in the space of about 30 seconds. Not been spotted yet, so it's all going pretty well. And we spot a nice E-75, but he backs up and he backs up. I go for him, but I managed to hit the turret of another E-75 which was just in the way. So that was only splash, but still nearly 800 damage just with the splash. Right, so the enemy's team do the right thing here. Um, if they all just hide around the end of that hill, uh, it's going to work perfectly for me. But if some of them push out like they have, as soon as I get spotted, 
Um, this position is, it's not useless, but if I want to take damage or not. And there we go, another thing I've found with the connect. When I'm talking on voice chat, sometimes the connect just randomly picks things up and chucks out rubbish on the screen. I really don't know what to do. do you, what do you do? Give me some advice, guys. Can you turn that connect off? If I turn that connect off, is it going to stop me do um, my voice commands? Stuff like that for joining parties and stuff like that, I really don't know. And also another thing that's annoying me is the new logo they've put on the screen telling you to zoom in. I know I've had people before send me messages saying, Oh, dude, do you know if you pull the left trigger you go into sniper mode? Well, yes I do. And it's in the tutorial, so if you do the tutorials when you start the game, you would know that anyway. So there's no need to have extra writing on the screen, it's just too much more information. And I'm going to have a look to see if you can turn it off, but I don't think you can. Anyway, I've taken some damage. E75 pushes out sideways, and I hit his track. And only do just over 600 damage. That could have been a one-shot there, and we could have needed that, especially at the end of this game. Anyway, so I'm just side-scraping off this corner. We do have some heavy armour there. Pulling out into a tree. I do have that green thumb perk on here, and I think it works. I've got camo, green thumb, and the aftershot firing bonus, uh, which tank destroyers used to have anyway, which they took off, and that's the reason why tank destroyers with prem matchmaking are being removed. Right. RNG is going to show his head now. I up the hatch, go straight over. But that's the Death Star for you. Accuracy is not great. And you have to pay for the f when you get those really good shots. Sometimes you have to pay for it with some really, really bad shots. Right, so I notice they have a heavy tank pushing round. So I go to intercept. Should be an easy one-shot kill. There he is. Aim up his lower plate. I go for the lower plate and just as I fire, he angles his tank and I clip the tracks and leave him there. So frustrating. But that one was my fault. That was not RNG's fault. That was totally my fault, that one. Hoping the object 704 could finish him off. Um, he didn't. So I'm going to have to waste another Hess shell just to clean him up. Here we go, take him down. Time to turn again because it's not going very well on both flanks. Our T110E5 there, he's playing like an absolute boss. He's managed to stay alive for a massive onslaught of tanks. T57 Heavy's coming round for him. Where did that one go? I know I didn't let it fully aim, but I'm sure that traitor went through his tank. Um, and we have had other instances last night of proper ghost shells, and people in my platoon even saw some of my ghost shells last night. Always seems to happen when I stream, so I don't know. I do have... Um, high-speed fiber optic broadband so I shouldn't be streaming on Twitch whilst playing it. I shouldn't be affected but uh, maybe it is. Where'd that one go? It's just a joke. Absolute joke. Do you want to get me reloading? I only have two rounds left now. I need to connect both of these rounds, otherwise well, we're pretty much screwed. That's the tortoise. Line up a shot on his hatch. Now watch this shot. How unlucky am I? It's just... Oh, I was getting so frustrated by this. This was the second game of the night and I was already frustrated. Ah uh, yeah, it really didn't bode well for the rest of the night. Anyway. 
Be 100 appears. I have one round of AP left. And to be fair, it's a good job I've got AP left because he angles nicely here. I'll come in. He angles. Go straight for his tracks with an AP round. And that is me out of the game. Mouse goes in to deal with the E100. Yeah, they are doing some uh, damage to each other. It looks like the E100 is firing high explosive by the amount of damage the mouse took there. There we go, Tortoise comes in, hits me with HE as well. Only damages my track. Tortoise hits me again with HE. I think the Ag Panzer's worked out, but I'm out of ammo. Here he comes. And the Waffle 4 takes me out, so that's me done. And now the mouse is all on his own. Yeah, you still get him hit with HE, same as I was. This is just such a ridiculous tank. I hardly ever play mine now. What, what do you guys think about the mouse? I've had it for a while now. I rarely play it. It's just not what I was expecting it to be. And I don't think many of the guys like I play with like it either. Anyway, that one was a defeat. I could have done better myself, but also I think RNG did screw me over a little bit. Uh, but I still managed a high calibre in a tier 10 game. There we go, that T110E5, he was playing like a boss, he beats me on experience, but not on damage. Right, there we go guys, please give the video a like if you did, please sub if you're not, and one little clip just to play out this video. Cheers guys, see you later.